Oh no, not the water. Wow. That's right guys, I can officially introduce my Crazy 4 4 motor RC car. As you can see, it does look like a VRX Cobra. That's only because I used a VRX platform. The chassis, the center braces, the shock towers, everything is VRX. Now, if any of you are in the drone scene, you will probably recognize these motors. They actually come as a kit off eBay. They come with four motors, four speed controls, four props, pretty much everything to go onto a large scale drone. But they do work very well on this platform. As long as all the motors are hooked up, I did try and run it front wheel drive when I sort of started putting it together. It did cog quite a bit. So we'll take a look inside. I'll show you how I put it all together and then we'll take it outside, give it a speed test, give it a bash around, see how it goes. Now at first glance, it may look quite complicated, but that's only because there's a lot of wires from one, two, three, four speed controls and obviously four motors. So it's a little bit messy because of that, but other than that, it's very simple. It's literally just a VRX car, the aluminium VRX chassis, the two top plates. And I had to drill my own holes here to kind of mount them in the right spot. You can probably do it to virtually any platform, but the main reason I went with VRX in the first place was because of the hubs. They're large enough that you can actually drill the two main mounting points for these motors to mount on. The rear VRX hubs were quite easy to drill or to work with because as you can see on the back side there there was a molding circle all I've done is drilled a hole directly in the center of that with a three millimeter drill piece then I got one of these motor mounts as you can see up the top and the bottom these two holes here are closer together than this one and this one so using the two closer together holes once it's all lined up obviously mount this down and yeah just go ahead and drill your top hole that's the rear hubs done but the front hubs are a little bit different you will probably have to get this mount and again using the closer together holes mount that to the hub itself with a, a nut and bolt and then drill your holes both your holes here as long as they're you know lined up center it should be fine they don't have to be exact mine aren't perfect and it seems to work fine. If you're gonna make one of these, make sure your hubs are large enough for whatever motors you, you wanna go with. You can just see the corner of the screw there. As you can tell, I've used countersunk screws for the front hubs because you need that clearance for the steering. But as you can see, you can use pretty much any screws for the rear. There is nothing that will get in the way of those screws. No need for clearance. The servo I'm running is a Hobbystar drift spec servo. This is just plastic geared, but I don't think this car is gonna need an overly powerful servo. And the speed controls I've gone with are these 35 amp 3S speed controls from eBay. They are very cheap, but I have tested them all and they work fine. One thing you definitely need because you're running four ESCs into one receiver is a four-way version of this Y lead here. So obviously you've got one plug to go into your receiver, but you need four of these. But guys, one thing you have to do when you run multiple ESCs off one receiver is disconnect the center wire or the positive wire from every extra ESC that you plug in because each one of these receiver wires will introduce six volts to your receiver. And as you can see there, it's only 4.8 to 10 volts. If you plug two in, that's straight away 12 volts. You'll be blowing the receiver. But guys, obviously it doesn't really look the part at the moment. I will probably get another shell for it eventually. But for now, we'll take it out, see how it goes. Probably do a speed test as well, because I'm really, really keen to see how fast this is. And uh, go from there. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Got the GPS all hooked up, ready to go. As you can see guys, I have got the gyro turned on slightly because it is a little bit of a, a squirrely car and I think it's got something to do with the rear tow-in. It's way too much, but I couldn't do anything unless I made my, my own custom uh, hubs, rear hubs, 
and I don't really have any way of doing that so I just went with what I ha what I had I'll get this all set up absolutely silent <laughs> have no idea what the trim is because I do use this controller for multiple cars Wow, I reckon I might be getting close to 60, 70 kilometers an hour. Oh, faster. <laughs> oh, faster. Actually handles really well. All right, what do we got so far? Oh, wow, guys. We've got 78 kilometers an hour. That trim's still no good. There we go. But 78 kilometers an hour, uh, I don't think that was peaked out. It was still kind of revving out and I don't think I'm gonna have enough room here to get it to its actual top speed. I'll try one more time. It does look like there's a few more cars arriving as well. So we'll go one more time, see what happens. 78 kilometers an hour, guys, that's crazy. And you can't even hear it. Right, I'll go up this way. All right, here we go. Wow. Yeah, that's really fast. All right, I reckon I might have got 80 then. Look at that, guys. 80 kilometers an hour exactly. <laughs> So I don't think it was topped out still. I'm, I reckon I might be able to get more speed on 3S, but 80 kilometers an hour in this tiny little area is crazy. I'll get that GPS off, have a bit of a muck around, but I'm keen to take that somewhere else and actually get its, its peak speed. 80 kilometers an hour, guys, that's crazy. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of cogging when I'm playing around like this, but um, when I'm doing speed runs, it's fine. And it's completely silent, so don't think I can annoy anyone with this one. Wow, that pickup is crazy. Yeah, the acceleration from this thing is actually, actually ridiculous. <laughs> oh it's going to take a little bit to get used to but it's good fun can't believe that pickup I'm not sure what will happen if I try and just full throttle from, from zero throttle alright oh <laughs> heaps of cogging <laughs> Well, there we go. We definitely need some, some different speed controls to get a, a better punch. <laughs> I'll try that again. Oh, there's nothing. Once they kick in though, it really does take off. Yeah, if it's already going, <laughs> it just wants to go. Now, one thing I did notice, just testing this out out the front of my house, I was using a 1500 milliamp 2S battery and it lasted probably 45 minutes. So this is one of the most economical cars I've ever used, ever seen. Uh, I think that's the major benefit of using, you know, four motors, four very small, very low amperage motors.
Oh no, not the water. Definitely not waterproof. I am noticing if I spin out too much, uh, one wheel kind of cuts out. I think that's just because the speed controls aren't really up to the job. If I get better speed controls, uh, maybe hobby wing speed controls or something, that will stop. Oh, I'm, I'm hoping anyway. The trim's not great with the four speed controls. They're not calibrated together, I don't think. Ah, uh, that might be the uh, battery guys. Well, the battery's saying 30%, but it could be, you know, running four speed controls that the battery may lag out a bit. So I'll leave it there, guys, but that was a good intro That's to my four-motor speed car, or four-motor street car, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm definitely going to have to get some different speed controls if I really want to get all the, you know, the full potential from the build. But I think for now, this is going to be good fun. I'll take it somewhere else to do a proper speed run. It was actually just a build while I was waiting for parts for my other cars for my bashes and stuff so yeah a bit of fun it does go and it goes quite well 80 kilometers an hour is kind of ridiculous i wasn't expecting that um i'm very happy guys for now i'll leave it here but i'll definitely have this out again all right guys I'm keen as to get this back out and see what i can really do with it speed wise and street bashing sort of so cheers catch you in the next video and as always stay safe